Okay, let's talk something. There's something that is common to all of our lives, and that is the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service. Now, I'm not going to make fun of them. The Internal Revenue Service comes and knocks on our door. Well, one day, Jesus and the disciples had to pay a tax. The Internal Revenue Service said, I mean, stop and think about this. The government even taxed Jesus. Jesus, who owned everything, had to pay a tax to these simpletons. But anyway, Jesus is, is there, and, and one of the disciples come up, and they say, uh, I think it was Peter personally, and uh, they say, well, we got to pay this tax, and we don't have any money. And so Jesus said, let, let, let me just quote what Jesus said. Go to the sea, throw in a hook, and take the first fish that open, comes up, and when you open its mouth, you will find a shekel. Now, let, let, stop thinking about that. I want you to, I want you to take what you're familiar with, Peter. I want you to go over to the sea and I want you to throw, a, throw a fishing line in there. And the first fish you catch of all the fish in the sea, I want you to find, and there will be a shekel in the mouth, not in the stomach, but in the mouth of that fish. So, so right here, uh, Jesus is reminding us that to approach life every day in faith, you, 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 you don't ever seek the problem. You, you don't talk about the problem. You don't talk about the problem. You don't talk about the problem. You don't even, many times you don't talk about the solution. You talk about the Savior. You take it to the Savior. Uh, we want to be problem centered. Oh, this is what happened to me. I lost this. I did this, this. No, 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 no. Or what do you think I ought to do in order to? No, 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 no. That's what Peter was doing. But he took it to the right source and he said, Jesus, this is what we got to do. Isn't that something? Jesus got so involved in our lives that he, he even had to pay taxes. So we see in Psalms 18 that God is reminding us that through the prayers of the psalmist, as he prays to God, I will love you, Lord, by strength. In this psalm, God is reminding us once again, God is our strength. Did you get up this morning? Did you wake up this morning? Did you breathe this morning? If your heart beat one beat today, then God caused it to do that. If your lungs ingested air and then expelled it, then God gave you the ability to do that. If you got up this morning, God gave you the ability to do that. If you had a house or a bed, God gave you that. If you had something to eat, everything, all the details of life are a provision of God to you so that you can rise up and praise the Lord. So Jesus Christ is saying right now, I have given you, he calls, we call him the Holy Spirit, but Jesus calls him the helper. Jesus calls him the comforter. Jesus calls him the encourager, uh, making sure that we, when we bring uh, all of our troubles and all of our problems and, and all of our good things to, to Jesus Christ, to God Almighty, that we know that the source of all blessings is God Almighty. What God wants you to do is quit depending on everybody else and start depending on him and him alone because everything you have has come from God. And it doesn't stop there because Jesus said, don't let your heart be troubled. Don't be, don't let it be torn apart. Don't be discouraged. Don't be worried. Don't be concerned. I've taken care of you here and I'm going to leave you now. But as I leave you, I want you to know I'm going to be in heaven preparing a place for you in my father's house are many mansions. Were not so, I would have told you so. This is not the end of it. Jesus is going to take care of us for all eternity. Thank you so much. God bless you.